Hello children, hope you all are fine. Today I am going to take the second part of landforms. In part 1, you already know, you have studied what landforms are and different types of landforms and how they are formed like mountains, plateaus, plains and valleys. So coming to the second part, here we are going to discuss the cold desert Ladakh. So on the screen you can see the location of Ladakh. This is the area, right? And Ladakh is a cold desert lying in the great Himalayas on the eastern side of Jammu and Kashmir. Several rivers flow through Ladakh. Indus is the major river. Rivers form deep valleys and gorges. Several glaciers are found in Ladakh. So when we say glaciers, Glaciers are a huge mass of ice moving slowly down in a slope. And due to its high altitude, the climate of Ladakh is extremely cold and dry. And you can see the snow-covered mountains on the, your screen in the picture. So when we talk about the climate, the day temperature in summer are just above 0 degrees and night temperature below minus 30 degrees. It is freezing cold in winters when the temperature remains below minus 40 degrees. The Ladakh lies in the rain shadow areas and so it receives very little rainfalls, lower than 10 centimeters every year. When we say rain shadow, it is a dry area on the leeward side of the mountain. The area experiences freezing winds and burning hot sunlight. Coming next to flora. And when we say flora, what does it mean? Flora means plants growing in a particular area. So here we are going to discuss about the trees and the plants. So grooves of willow and poplaris are seen in the valley. Fruit trees such as apples, apricot and walnuts bloom. Now, next we'll come to the fauna. And when we say this word fauna, it means all the animals of that particular area. So, in this area, several types of birds are found. Robins, red starts, Tibetan snowcock, raven and hoopoe. In animals, wild goat, wild sheep, yak, special kind of dogs, these animals are red for milk, meat, heights. Yak's milk is used to make cheese and butter. The hair of the sheep and goat is used to make woolens. Now, let's talk about the people of Ladakh. So, when we say people of Ladakh, here mostly people are Muslims and Buddhist by religion. Many Buddhist monasteries are found in Ladakh. When we say monastery, you can see on the screen, it's a picture of a monastery and it's a place where the monks live together. Now, coming to the local people, in summer season, people cultivate barley, potatoes, beans and turnips. Winter are harsh, so people get engaged in festivals and ceremonies. People of Ladakh are very hardworking the women also are very hard working. They work in fields and also manage business and shops and household affairs. Leh is the capital of Ladakh. It is a well connected by roads and airways. The National Highway 1A connects Leh to Kashmir Valley through the Zozila Pass. Now, We'll talk about the tourism because Ladakh is a beautiful place, tourism is a major activity and many tourists visit Ladakh both from India and abroad. Due to severe climatic conditions, people have a very tough life but nowadays life of the people is undergoing a change due to modernization. They live in balance and harmony with nature. Thank you children.